Oh yeah, this time, once again. <laughs> now, everybody keeps asking, like, why does this one person that he slept with he messed around with years ago? Now it keeps rearing its ugly head. Hmm. Was she the only one envy? <laughs> the reason why this keeps coming up, because my man put on a white velvet suit. White velvet went on that television show with his wife and made it popular. By going on this show, getting treated like a simp once again for the home viewing audience. He, it wasn't enough he did it on a radio show to where he had to basically tell the whole world he wanted nothing to make her feel better about herself. But on top of that, he had to relive the whole thing all over again. And the reason why is because their little podcast show was bottling, bottling out. Nobody was really listening. The drop-off rate was very high. And because the drop-off rate was so high on that show, like people weren't sticking around listening to these two talk anymore. Because all they would do is go over the same topics that was just covered on the breakfast club it's like you're making a podcast based off your podcast but this time you got your wife in there so instead of Angela Yee we have somebody who don't know what they're doing okay and now we gotta hear more of Envy yeah I'm out so they go in there and they bring all of this back up. We would have never known who the person was. Well, you guys in the general public wouldn't know, but we would have probably never known who that person was if the person did not come out and credit themselves. That's right. Erica Mena came out and said, I'm the one they talking about. <laughs> Normally, you know, celebrities or people like that, um, yeah, they don't really do that because they know better. Now, I would be a dog to sit here and answer that question for Envy, and I won't. I won't. We will act like Erica Mena is the first and only girl because we're not here to rat on nobody so you're in a club and you run into Erica meningitis and you think she's the hottest thing in, on the earth at that time and never lets her know that you're even married you didn't carry yourself like a married man. You was wilding. You were there to do a job in DJ. Now, DJs make pretty good money. Like, you can get, you can do like a couple of shows in a week. You can get like DJs, some DJs getting. 10,000 a show, 20,000 a show at that time. It depends on who the DJ is, his popularity. I think uh, DJ Envy booking price at that time was what? About 7,000, 6, 7,000. If you want to book him for your show. But I heard he wasn't a strong DJ. That's just what I heard. But anyway. He's up there with Erica Meningitis. 
and got her so ticked off. You ain't do no background check, and you acting like you got a winner. And she just used you, G. You should have done your homework. Then you brought her back to life. This whole thing made her back popular again. She was fading away. She was an inspiring singer who was inspired to do a lot of things with a lot of people. And a lot of coach with a lot of people. Unfortunately, that was the route she took to her success. She said, is that a bed? Is that a bed? <laughs> And she went right to it. Um, she got blown up as a vixen in one of those Vibe magazine things. And from that point on, a reality show came and the world got introduced to Erica Miller. But before she did that, there was a road she went down that none of you knew. And she happens to get the B-list, so actually C-list guys, trying to get A-listers. And then she found her uh, guy who used to be on the A-list and fell down from Grace. When you go from Paris Hilton to, well, not Paris Hilton, who's her friend? Nicole Richie. You go from Nicole Richie to to Kim Kardashian all the way down to the bottom of the bucket. Erica Mena. Erica Mena Jitis. So, of course, that's where it goes. That's where you bottom out. With the habit. So, the habit took Took him down, and who was there with him when he fell all the way to the ground? Allegedly, Erica Meningitis. So, <clears throat> with all of this happening, this fool was loving on her when she came back in the phone good old envy now envy the simpleness in his mind was the fact oh okay now I got this person with me and blah 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 he was falling in love Falling in love with Erica Mann and didn't realize she was playing him with Rich Top. And because him and Joe Budden were so close friends, he thought, like, Joe, you knew and you didn't tell me. Days of our lives type stuff. We are brothers. And you've done some things before. But this. This is your guy. You know him. But we are like brothers. Dude, I never looked at it that way. But we are brothers. How dare you. How dare you. Because. <laughs> So that happened. And no, that actually happened. He got in his real feelings with Joe. And it was based off that and everything else Joe said about him on the show and how he did the show, no matter how accurate, really rubbed his feelings the wrong way. So, 
yeah, that's about it. So now Jesus and Mero has invited Erica Meningitis to do the show. Of course, she should say no, but of course she's going to do it because why not? <laughs> it would be very un-Erica Meningitis of her not to do it. I'm out.